what happens, I got 50 feet of capillary, and I had this happen. What if the gauge is here? What if the gauge is here? Will that change it? The answer to that is yes, because you're creating head pressure. Because you have the weight of the fluid that's in the capillary, and it's going to affect the calibration of the gauge. Now, I actually had a company that we did 100 feet of capillary, and they were taking the capillary up over a wall. But the height of the diaphragm seal here and the height of the gauge on the other side of the wall was the same. So as long as when my guy calibrated, it didn't matter what the rest of the capillary was doing, if the two heights were the same, it was, it was negative, it negated the two head pressures, if you will, because you had head pressure on this side, head pressure on this side, so it was the same. So, does that mean he can't have it down here? No, he can have it. But what you need at the time of assembly, you need to know the orientation of the gauge to the diaphragm. Now, that's getting pretty exotic, so I don't expect you to go, well, we're done. But if you hear something capillary, just ask, what's the orientation? Is the gauge above, below, whatever? If they're in line with each other, it's not a problem, because that's the way our guy's going to do it. But if he says it's going to be five feet high, then our guy's going to hang it so it's five feet high when he's doing his calibration, just to make sure. So that's the only time cap capillary can become an issue when you're doing a diaphragm seal assembly.